Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today I want to make a quick little video kind of talking about an interesting thing that I sort of came across by having a problem uh, editing. So let's uh, get into it. So if you haven't seen my video on switching to DaVinci Resolve 14, I made a video talking about why I switched to DaVinci Resolve 14 from Premiere Pro and sort of the pros and cons. And really the only thing that I had a problem with was the multicam in DaVinci Resolve. It's not the best. I think it's a little bit of a bug. I don't think it's really the software itself. Um, but for me, it just hasn't been as good as Premiere is. And of course, Premiere really does have great multicam, um, but we're, we're this close. So I had a music video shoot and it was not working in Premiere Pro at all. So I knew that I had to do it in DaVinci Resolve, but the reality was I knew I couldn't do a multicam workflow. So I started thinking about multicam workflows and sort of the way they work and, and what they make us do and how they make us think. Now, I mean, pretty much since I've been editing, multicam has pretty much been a thing. So since I've needed it, it has been there and it's been something that I've been using for quite a long time. But I started to think about the actual way that we work with multicam and if it's hindering us or if it's actually making us better. So you might be thinking, well, what do you mean hindering us? It's, you know, it's a great tool. It makes things faster. So doing this music video, I decided that I wasn't going to do a multicam. I was going to edit individual Resolve and edit track by track. So I layered all the tracks and then what I would do is I would cut out each section that I wanted. And what I found is that I became a lot more just I was making decisions, not just based on sitting there and just clicking one, two, three, four between the cameras, but I was really thinking about each shot in the music video and what I should see next. What instrument was there, maybe what was playing, sort of stuff like that. And what I found that I was much more intentional in my editing. I wasn't just sitting there and just going through, clicking back and forth, making it look even. I was actually thinking about what instruments are important and what do we want to see during this portion of the music video. And what I found is that this is very interesting. Now, although it took a lot more time, the reality is multicam is super easy to use. You can easily just click one, two, three, you can click your camera angles, it switches back and forth. And of course, for things like weddings or something where, you know, it's just more of a basic edit, I totally think that multicam is the best way to go. But I started thinking that in scenarios like maybe music videos or live performances, that maybe multicam isn't always the best way to go. And maybe it's sometimes good to try something a little different. Now, as you can see, the timeline's pretty insane because <laughs> there was a lot of moving around, but it really, I think, made me more intentional in the way I edited. And what's something that kind of brought to my attention is the way that we edit can sometimes be lazy. You know, we think a lot about doing all these cool edits and I feel like we just get so wrapped up in getting it done that we don't think about what's actually best for the story, for the video, whatever it may be, and what works best. So I kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this and sort of just give you my opinion on multicam and sort of see your opinions on multicam. Is it something you use often? Is it something you don't use at all? Is it something that's beneficial to you or do you think that maybe it hinders your creativity? Try doing a multicam performance. Don't use multicam. Try doing it with just, you know, kind of track-based editing and see how it comes out. I feel like the music video came out way better because I was focusing more on each shot and what it meant to have each shot than I was focusing on just switching between the cameras and then figuring it out later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was pretty quick, but uh, definitely make sure to check out all the links down below for all some of the gear I use, as well as the Patreon, which we do have the Patreon podcast coming up again soon. And also stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a video on Premiere Pro's proxy workflow versus DaVinci Resolve optimized media, and it's pretty surprising. So uh, I'll catch you guys soon.